Fall's hit in the Northwest and I've put away my bikes for the winter more or less. Uh, did have some great uh, uh, improvements to the yard this year, including that neat little beast down there. Um, good four foot high uh, jump. But I've been pretty busy lately. We uh, started a project. Um, we had an old pool in our backyard and we decided to redo it and uh, it was either fill it in or redo it so we redid it and one of the criteria was it has to have a cover so uh, we built a cover over the pool and uh, it, it's actually turned out really good uh, the amount of junk that would normally go in the pool from the trees it's kind of crazy it's crazy that somebody put a pool in here in the first place uh, but we decided uh, if we could cover it we would redo the pool so I'll give you a little tour we redid the whole pool we tore off all the tile uh, put in some uh, nicer blue tile uh, the old stuff was pretty cracked and then we also resurfaced it I put up a temporary end on this uh, kind of greenhouse style cover uh, in the summer, we'll we'll take the end off so it doesn't get too hot. Uh, great, I mean you can see the junk that has already not come into the pool. Um, we're just kind of cleaning up the outside. Got a few salamanders down there, and then uh, got some pool equipment coming. Just starting over. The heater was shot, and uh, pump pump was fairly old so we're just redoing everything but it's, it's turned out pretty good uh, one of the hard parts was like building a cover is it's kind of tricky because you're like well uh, how do you do this there isn't really a whole lot of plans out there on the internet uh, building a greenhouse over your pool it's really hard because the pools right smack in the way so what we actually did was um, uh, we experimented with these with these frames and uh, then we built we built a couple at a time and just slid it down over the pool and uh, built it inside our our chain link fence and then uh, fastened it to all the uh, posts uh, on the fence and then uh, also put up uh, two posts on the end to uh, kind of anchor it some more um, but it's gone through uh, one windstorm it's really sheltered down here so you don't have to worry too much about the wind uh, it's it's sheltered in the trees and then the hill uh, down kind of shelters it as well so it survived a uh, windstorm without really any effect at all um, I put in some nice anchors on it and it's pretty good. Got a little bit of cleanup at the bottom. Been pressure washing around the the, the deck here, and uh, got my electricians to install a a new light. Yeah, it's not slippery. No, not at all. This is good practice though for when you go out hiking and you're crossing the bridges and... Yes. Okay, this is my pool. The, the first time she did it, she was like, oh, so oh, scared. I wasn't sure it would hold me. <laughs> <laughs> it does have a little wobble in the middle. <laughs> but now, well, one of these times I might not be... So smart. Those salamanders, though, we gotta get them going. We got no nerve. Three of them. No, uh, there might be more. I kind of uh. sent them all to the bottom huh. today with my pressure washer. So the the deck came out not too bad. Okay. Yeah. It's nice. We so, just not clean up all the weeds underneath. On the edge. This end 
Ready to put water in it. I know, that's why we clean it up, put water in it, and be done. Yeah. And right. then whatever duck you think you heard last night <laughs> might come back and swim for a while. Uh, we do live in the woods, and occasionally you hear strange noises like a, a rabbit just getting it or something. And last night there was an owl hooting, and it sounded like a duck or something quacking there was no duck. It was in the some... pool. There was some animal it being was, hurt in yeah. the woods. Half the time it sounds like some little kid just getting, you know, brutally murdered or something. You wonder if you should be running out. Are you but, happy with the, the deck or is it, do you want me to try to do a... No, or? it's good. Okay. Oh, the lights have come on around the pool. It's kind of cool. Uh, one other thing to know, one of the reasons why we did this, uh, if branches come down and put a hole in this cover, it's it would be fairly cheap to replace. Uh, we used a greenhouse film, so uh, it's got a I think about five year UV protection. Uh, probably lasts a lot longer than that here in the Northwest, since we don't get a ton of UV in the year. Um, so yeah, just a it's like a big greenhouse. The pool doesn't work out. It's just going to be turned into a great big grow-up. Why not? I could make some serious money out of this thing.